it earlier today, so I'm too late to show off this whole thing. Um, properly, I uploaded images already before the contest ended, but I wanted to... I still wanted to finish my project, but I didn't have enough time to do, because two weeks wasn't enough time to finish this. So, um, let me go over to this other side of my map to better describe thoughts. Okay, so I started off making sure I had enough power for everything. So I got all of these water wheels working, um, but they weren't fully working because the water source that I dynamited to was very piddly. So I had to get another water source. In order to do that, I... Come on, game, slideshow. There were water sources here. So I built the dam. Come on, game. And filled it with fire. All the way to the other water source that added it. And what's fun about these ones is... I hit a bunch of the Flames of Progress in the water, so that only the flames would show up over the top. Um, and then while I was thinking of, well, what else can I do with these flames? I wanted to do the joke of, uh, if you remember the line, you call out a knife, this is a knife. Well, you call that a campfire. This is a campfire. Um, and then I decided to make an even bigger one for this making this look tiny. Uh, but can you make scale mail with your feet? Hello, oh, JK. Um, n no. I do have good dexterity with my feet, but I don't have, have the grip strength. Uh, to do that. As it is, making chain mail is very tiring and I have a bunch of palaces. Oh, did they announce a winner? Uh, they, I did not see a winner announcement. I just saw submissions are closed. Announcement. Twitch cat can be a bit distracting as well, I would imagine. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> nice, nice campfire. Thank you. I built another one over here. In my little tropical retreat. I felt they needed one as well. I used the large water tank to make it look like I have pools. So when the, the contest started, I thought that Helix Mountain would be um, the thing that would be the topper of all the things. And Helix Mountain's over here. Helix Mountain is so named because of the helix that goes around it with the water. And I did up to the build height limit. Because, um, of course, I have to go to the camp build limit. Um, put the mandatory tribute of ingenuity on it. Powered it with a bunch of things. Made it all spinny and overdone. But it still felt very short to me, because it was already on top of this giant hill. So I decided to one-up things. Uh, oh yeah, I also built a little treehouse area amongst the ruins. The beavers preserved them, mostly. But I had to one-up myself. So I built a library. And it is actually a library. Uh, because if we go all the way down... Come on, game. Uh, I have a whole bunch of warehouses down here. And they are all set to only accept books and paper. <laughs> Uh, 
I heard they made this map on a dev stream. Yeah, I heard that too. I did not watch that stream. Oh, the water's still not strong enough to make it all the way around. Because I designed this to have water come in at these four angles to a central pool in the middle of the library, underneath some platforms, and then have it uh, come out over here. I was disappointed that the um, metal platforms uh, were um, The metal platforms cost too much money to... Too much of a non-renewable resource. Okay. The metal. We can get into this thing. You can see that the buildings are on and they're in there. Uh, where am I in this? Okay, here's the center. You can see the little benches I stuck in here. Everything's accessible. It's just under a mountain of fire, because I was going for the joke of the Library of Alexandria burning down. This is very impressive. Thank you! So, I made as much of a dome as I could, given the time constraints but it just became more of a hexagon than anything else. But what I mostly wanted to avoid was just making a ziggurat like everybody else. One of those square-shaped pyramids. So I've got that. And over here I've got the capital, which doesn't function as the capital because the district center for this only has two paths. So what's being used over here is all accessed by home base. Um, so they, they have enough reach to get into all of these. Home base is the production powerhouse. So yeah, that's my base. Oh yeah, I also made a little wave out of the water pumps. I like doing that. Uh, what else do I have on here to show you that I did fun things? You know what? I want to get a shot of the beavers all in the campfire. Sitting at all the benches. Over here. So, I need to send beavers over. Control H. There we go. I'm going to change this to providing emergency water and food. Uh, what do I have a bunch of? I have a bunch of bread. I want to make sure my beavers don't starve. Or die of thirst while I do all this. And then bread. Okay, let's send like 200 beavers over. I want to see them all in the chairs. <laughs> They're using them. They don't want to, though.
<laughs> yeah, they're just standing around down here. Go sit in the chairs. It's interesting seeing which chairs they choose. Too bad they can't get the bonus of campfire from sitting in these seats. <laughs> okay, I think we got the max attendance we were gonna get. Oh, they're all sleeping on the ground. Okay. I'll send them back to home base. I don't want them dying. Beaver pile. 